Hi guys, it seems we need to talk about Mike. Now, many of you have been asking whether I'm still speaking with him, whether I'm upset with him, or whether in fact we're going to continue as friends in the future. The answer is, of course. Is he my favourite person right now? Well, probably not. And I know for sure that I'm not his. But that's okay. We're both adults. We'll get over ourselves. We'll get past this and then we'll be fine. Now, Mike called me at the weekend and told me that over the past few days, not only he, but also his wife and daughter have been receiving a lot of abuse and even death threats because of my leaving the show. And that really is not cool. We've just had a slight disagreement on how the show should be made. Nobody needs to die over this. We were brought together 14 years ago specifically to make Wheeler Dealers and our instant on-screen chemistry was what made Dan Allen and Michael Wood cast us together on their show. Now part of the success of our relationship is the fact that we have very different backgrounds and very different ways of doing things. In fact our different approach to a common interest is one of the many winning ingredients of the show. Creative tension, if managed properly, always makes for a better result. We need to move forward so let's look at the positives here. I'm now free to pursue new ventures and with any luck I'll be able to make some kind of new show that will include all of my usual detailed jobs and top tips. Mike will make new episodes of Wheeler Dealers and Ant will bring to those a new chemistry with Mike and also his own approach to classics going through the workshop. It's going to be really interesting to see what these changes are going to bring. So you might end up with two new shows where there was only one. That's got to be a cracking deal.